Hello folks, this video episode will begin a series describing the design roots of Shanty Sanctuary, where it originated, how it began, and how it has been modified since. The basic boat design was a concept boat proposed by Zach Taylor in his book called uh, Successful Waterfowling, published in 1974 by Crown Publishers. Here are two profile views of the design proposed to be built on a 26-foot Washita John Boat Hall. This is the plan view found on page 123 of the book, and I would recommend stopping the video for a closer look. Following is a series of comparisons between the Zach Taylor concept boat and the initial build of Shanty Sanctuary. This first comparison is a hull comparison the concept boat was built on a 26-foot hull and Shanty Sanctuary on a 24-foot hull. Otherwise, they're similar. Again, stop the video to examine any details. Here's a shot of the bare hull prior to construction of the superstructure. Next indicates the primary functions. The original builder of Shanty Sanctuary raised the cabin about one foot and planned to use it as a base for duck hunting on the Mississippi River. Since then, Shanty Sanctuary has been modified for much longer trips. The following comparisons get into the details of construction, which I won't go into here. I suggest pausing for those sections you want a closer look or to refer to the book itself, which can be found online or in your library. Next are some before and after shots of the boat as purchased and subsequently painted and modified. I will cover the details of some of those modifications in later episodes. 